In the world of glitz and glamour, where the spotlight never dims, one icon's regret echoes through time, revealing a side of Elvis Presley we rarely see. Welcome back to Celebify, where today we delve deep into the king of rock and roll's biggest career regret. Stay tuned till the end, because you won't believe what Elvis wished he could have changed about his illustrious career. Elvis Presley's ascent to stardom was not solely through his groundbreaking music. He also carved out a notable space for himself in the world of cinema. As the charismatic leading man, Elvis graced the silver screen in a plethora of films that not only garnered significant box office success, but also showcased his versatile talent beyond his musical prowess. From the swaying palm trees of Blue Hawaii to the racetracks of Viva Las Vegas, he brought a certain allure and magnetism that was undeniably Elvis. Despite achieving top billing in nearly all his cinematic ventures, save for one, his foray into acting revealed a deeper, untapped potential. Elvis himself, along with a chorus of fans and critics alike, recognized his natural flair for acting. There were moments of genuine emotion and depth in his performances that hinted at a profound acting capability waiting to be fully realized. This belief was not unfounded. His roles varied from the lighthearted and comedic to the serious and dramatic, suggesting a range that could have been explored further with more challenging roles. However, the trajectory of his acting career did not align with his aspirations. Hindered by a combination of typecasting in musical comedies and the controlling influence of his manager, Colonel Tom Parker, Elvis's opportunities to delve into more substantive character-driven roles were few and far between. His filmography became a reflection of what might have been, rather than a testament to his full potential as an actor. This discrepancy between his capabilities and his career path became a source of personal frustration and professional regret for Elvis. Indeed, one of his greatest laments was the realization that his acting career might never reach the heights of his musical achievements. Despite the adulation and success he found as a singer, Elvis harbored a deep-seated desire to prove himself as a serious actor. He sought roles that could challenge him, showcase his versatility, and perhaps earn him critical acclaim in the acting world. Unfortunately, the limited scope of his acting endeavors left him with a sense of unfulfillment, a poignant reminder of what could have been in an alternate universe where Elvis Presley, the actor, was given as much room to shine as Elvis Presley, the icon of rock and roll. In the mid-1970s, Elvis Presley stood at a pivotal crossroads in his career. The king of rock and roll, who had not graced the cinematic stage since his 1969 film, was presented with an opportunity that seemed like destiny's call. A Star is Born, a film set to star Barbara Streisand, offered Elvis a role steeped in dramatic complexity and raw emotional depth. This was not just any role, it was a narrative that eerily paralleled Elvis's own life a once-celebrated musician facing the twilight of his career. For someone seeking redemption and a lasting legacy in the acting domain, this project was the beacon of hope. Yet in a turn of events that would haunt Elvis for the remainder of his days, he stepped away from the project. The decision, outwardly attributed to Elvis himself, was heavily influenced by the machinations of his manager, Colonel Tom Parker. Parker, whose control over Elvis's career was both legendary and controversial, had his reasons ranging from financial disputes to a desire to maintain Elvis's image. Whatever the motivations, the result was the same. Elvis walked away from a project that could have redefined his career. This decision did not come lightly to Elvis. He grappled with the implications, fearing that by turning down A Star Is Born, he had effectively closed the door on his aspirations to be recognized as a serious actor. Elvis confided in those close to him revealing his deep-seated insecurities about his cinematic legacy. To Kathy Westmoreland, he lamented the absence of a defining role, a classic film that could immortalize his artistic prowess. With Larry Geller, he shared the poignant regret of never achieving the pinnacle of acting acclaim, an Oscar. The narrative of A Star Is Born and its missed opportunity became a symbol of what could have been for Elvis. It was a role that promised to strip away the glitz and glamour presenting an Elvis Presley that the world had seldom seen, vulnerable, introspective, and dramatically complex. The film, which eventually went on to achieve critical and commercial success with Chris Christopherson in the role Elvis had vacated, 
served as a stark reminder of the path not taken. In the end, Elvis's decision to step away from him, um, A Star is Born, encapsulated the eternal struggle between artistic ambition and the realities of celebrity. It underscored the complexities of his relationship with Parker and highlighted the deep yearning Elvis felt to prove himself as more than just a musical icon. The episode stands as a poignant chapter in the legend of Elvis Presley, offering a glimpse into the dreams and disappointments of one of the 20th century's most enduring stars. Elvis Presley's journey in Hollywood, marked by a constellation of light musical roles, might well have veered into the realm of Oscar-worthy performances had it not been for the restrictive vision of his manager, Colonel Tom Parker. Parker's insistence on casting Elvis in roles that capitalized on his musical talent and charismatic presence, while commercially successful, ultimately stifled his artistic growth as an actor. Gene Nelson, who directed Elvis in Kissing Cousins, witnessed firsthand the flickers of genuine talent that were never fully nurtured. According to Nelson, as cited in Peter Guralnik's Careless Love, The Unmaking of Elvis Presley, Elvis possessed moments of true engagement with his roles that hinted at a latent acting prowess, overshadowed by the reliance on his innate charm and the persona of Elvis Presley, the musical icon. The film King Creole, released in 1958, stands as a testament to what Elvis could achieve when given material that demanded more from him than the typical song and dance routine. In this film, Elvis delivered what many consider his finest acting performance, portraying a troubled youth caught in a web of crime and redemption. It was a glimpse into the potential depth and complexity he could bring to the screen, offering a stark contrast to the majority of his filmography, which often did not stray far from the surface of his larger-than-life image. Despite these moments of brilliance, Elvis's dissatisfaction with his cinematic endeavors grew increasingly evident. By 1961, the disillusionment had begun to seep through, as noted by Ann Fulcino, a publicity director who observed Elvis's visible discomfort and frustration on the set of Blue Hawaii. Fulcino's observations, as she recounted Elvis's evident shame and self-awareness of deserving better roles, underscored a critical internal conflict. Elvis recognized his potential for more meaningful contributions to film, but found himself ensnared in a web of typecasting and managerial control. The frustration Elvis felt was not hidden from those around him, even if they did not know him intimately. His reluctance to demand better, more substantive roles was in part a reflection of his complex relationship with Parker. Elvis's deference to Parker's guidance, even at the expense of his own artistic aspirations, painted a picture of a talent underutilized, a career path dictated by commercial success rather than artistic fulfillment. Elvis Presley's cinematic journey is a narrative of what might have been, a tale of a cultural icon whose potential for dramatic artistry was glimpsed but never fully realized. It's a story that evokes thoughts of missed opportunities and what could have been if Elvis had been allowed to explore the depths of his acting abilities, perhaps even leading him to the coveted recognition of an Oscar. Instead, his film career remains a bittersweet chapter in the legacy of a man who was, beyond doubt, more than just the king of rock and roll. Elvis Presley, a legend in music, a figure of cinematic charm, and a man of unfulfilled dreams. As we remember the king, we're left to wonder what could have been if Elvis had taken that role in A Star is Born. Could he have won the Oscar he so deeply desired? So what are your thoughts on this? Sound off in the comments section down below and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for celebrity news and updates every day.